Good morning, my sweet friends. I have a fabulous new craft for you today. In today's crafting adventure, I'm going to show you step by step how to make this beautiful wine cork wreath. Now I've been collecting wine corks for a while now and the other day when I went into a local thrift store, I was able to find two bags of wine corks. So now I had enough to make the project. Now I initially was inspired to do this wreath when I found this sign at Dollar Tree. Wine a little, laugh a lot. I really do like this sign. It's well made. It has three slats. It's attached in the back. And they do come on a jute cord. Now they do have a couple other signs that are different than this that would perfectly work. I've shared those in some of my previous hauls. But this is the one that I'm going to be using today. In addition to the sign, two 14 inch wired wreath forms that you can pick up at Dollar Tree. Some black floral wire. This you can also get at Dollar Tree, 26 gauge. It's 100 feet and an assortment of wine corks. So to get started here, you want to turn one of your frames upside down and then you're just going to use your wine corks and you're going to go through and just fill in that space. And I have some wine corks that are actually made of cork and some that are made of plastic that doesn't matter. They just need to be able to fit within the space there between the two bars. So some of these are longer than others. The shorter ones I want to make sure that I'm placing right where the crossbars are because that space is a little bit smaller. But other than that, it doesn't matter. I can mix it up however I want. Okay, so I have all of my corks in and I kind of push them to the outer edge so that they would lay properly. You want to take your second one and you lay it over the top. You want to try to line up those crossbars because that's where you're going to be attaching them together. And I'm just going to be using my floral wire here and I'll attach the two together where the crossbars are. Let's take a piece of wire. So just kind of pull together, get it nice and tight. Then you want to do the same thing to the other side. Once you have them all together, you can go back and trim your wire and then tuck the wire ends down. I have both of my wreath forms securely attached to each other and now nothing will fall out. And I really like that. I love the rustic feel that gives. And now to prepare our sign, I just removed the jute cord off of the back here. And I have two full length pipe cleaners. And since this is nice and thick, I'm going to use my staple gun to attach them. One in the middle on each side. And then I'm going to hit it just with a little bit of hot glue over the top there. I don't want my pipe cleaner to slide out. Now 
Now I want to place my sign here on the side and to attach it I'm just going to wrap the pipe cleaners all the way around the wreath form and attach it in the back. Then just trim and tuck down your pipe cleaners. I think that is so adorable. Now we're not done decorating. There's still a few more things we need to add to make this look beautiful. And I found this really pretty grape-like IV that I found at Hobby Lobby. This The only thing that I could find this type of leaf in was one of their garlands. And this was a little pricey for six feet. It was $19.99. Of course, I always try to buy things when they're on sale. But this is very nice. It's not just one strand. It also has others that are breaking off of it. So you want to start at one end. And we're going to be placing it on about half the wreath. So you just want to measure. I'm going to attach it at this crossbar here. And then I'm going to work it around down to the bottom and attach it to this crossbar. So once I see how long I'm going to need it to cover my space, I'm going to give myself an extra probably half inch there and then cut it. The rest of this I can save for another project. And then to attach this to the frame, I'm also going to be using my floral wire. And I'm going to be attaching it right to the crossbars there. So I'm just going to cut myself a piece that's a couple inches long. Then I'm going to feed it right around this crossbar here. Just going to give it a twist so it doesn't fall down. And then I'm going to add in the tip here and wire it on. Just trim off the wire and tuck down those sharp ends. And now I'll just work it over to the next crossbar and attach it there. And I'm going to do that all the way down to the bottom here. All right, I have my greenery attached. It's all wired down. Now, I also picked up two packages of the faux grapes at Hobby Lobby. They are regularly priced $3.99, and I like them. I wanted a little different mix here in the color, so I went with black and then one red. And they do have a little loop right here at the top so that you can use that to hang them, and that's what I'm going to be using to attach them. And again, I'm going to be using floral wire to attach them to my wreath. So I'm going to take the floral wire and feed it through the hole there. Give it a little twist. And then I'm going to wire it here to my frame. And I want it up close to my leaves here. So I'm going to feed it around the wire frame and also my stem here of greenery. So I have it pulled up, wrapped around this outer bar here and my stem of greenery.
give it a couple good twists, trim and tuck my wires. And now I'm going to attach my black grapes the same way and I want them to come down a little bit further and I'm going to attach them more on the inside like that. So I have my grapes on and I had to hang it up. It wasn't looking quite right for me. So I hung it up on my wall and looked at it for a couple days and decided I had way too many leaves. So I went back and removed half of them. So I only have them on a fourth of the wreath now. I like that much better. Though I am going to add a little bit back up here near the top, but on the outside. I like how my grapes are hanging and I like where my sign is positioned. I want to place a little bit more of the leaves back up here so it's a little bit fuller, but I didn't want them to cover any more of the grapes. So these are the few pieces that I cut off this bottom portion. And I'm just going to use my hot glue gun and go in and place them wherever I need to. I feel like it can use a little bit more up here on the top above the grapes. When adding in the rest of the leaves to fill in, you want to hot glue them in place and then go back and wire them on. Okay, so I'm just going to take my pieces and go in and fill in right around the outside here where I have my leaves. So I went in and added those pieces that I cut off the bottom here into the top and I'm much happier with that. Let me back out a little bit, give you a little bit better view. I like that much better. I even went in the back here and added a couple pieces hanging down behind the grapes. I like that is I want these to look like they're hanging on the grapevine. So I'm very happy with that. I also, um, the other thing I did, which I forgot to tell you, was I removed the leaves that came with the grapes. I originally left them on, but I didn't like how they contrasted so much. But I'm really happy with that. I like that one set of grapes is hanging down lower than the other. I also here on the back attached my hanger so that it will hang the way that I want it to and I made sure that I could hang it right on a crossbar so that that's not going to slide. So I'm very pleased with that. Now we're going to work on the last item which is our bow. I'm going to be using my Easy Bow Maker today. I'm going to measure my tails here at 8 inches. I'm going to pinch. Now on this ribbon I don't have to twist when I come through unless I want to. And I'm going to be measuring my loops on this one at 5 inches. And let's see, I'm going to make 5 loops on either side. This beautiful red satin ribbon that I'm using on the project today, I picked up at Hobby Lobby recently. It is the Robert Stanley Collection. It's 1.5 inches at 30 feet and regularly retails for $4.99. You take your full length black pipe cleaner, slide it down under one side till you get to the center, push everything down, pull it together, get it pinched and lift out. Wrap your pipe cleaner around to the back, making sure you pull nice and tight. And then 
and I just want to go through and open up all of my loops and pull down my tails. So that's approximately what your bow should look like, just kind of a nice big messy bow. I'll do my final adjusting and trim my tails once I get it onto the wreath. Now as I was fluffing out my bow, I decided I didn't like it uh, kind of messy, so I separated it from side to side and decided to go in and add a small loop in the center. And I'm happy with it now, so I'm going to be attaching it up here near the top of my wreath. I decided I want it kind of right above my grapes, kind of buried in the greenery there. So I'm just going to use my pipe cleaners. I'm going to push the leaves and everything aside till I can get to my frame. And then I'm going to attach it here onto the frame wherever I need to to get the bow to sit the way that I want it to. Once I get its placement, you want to trim and tuck your pipe cleaners. I have my bow on and I'm very pleased with its placement. I love the color of it. As you can see, it really helps to pull that burgundy color there in the sign. And it also helps to pull some burgundy tones there out of the grapes. Now I'm very happy with the end result. Though I have to say this wreath was a little challenging as far as placement. I have my original design, but I did have to go back and do a little reworking. As you know, we went in and removed some of the leaves. I originally was going to come halfway through, but decided that's just too much. And then I ended up filling in up here. Now I'm very happy. The look I was going for was I wanted to look like these grapes were still growing on their vine. And then this way I can also see a lot more of my wreath form here, which is part of the design with the wine corks. Now I'm very happy. I can see enough of the base and I have that look of my grapes growing on the vine. And I have to say, I absolutely love this sign that I found at Dollar Tree. I think it's absolutely adorable. Now they have several different kinds and different types of signs to choose from. So go with whatever you can find in your store. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and show some love in the comments. This really does help support my channel. And if you know anyone who would enjoy my content, please share it with them. If you like, hauls and craft tutorials, you're going to want to check out these other videos. Thanks so much for stopping by. It's always a pleasure to see you. You have a great day and I'll catch you in the next video.